Well, it's not hot, but it's not cold. It's lukewarm. I think I can take a warmish shower, which I will. I'm going to hang this up here on my porch, right where I had my rain shower the other day. And, uh, sorry, but no more video of that. I'll tell you how it was. I put some foam up on top of my porch, because I don't have a roof on it yet. And that'll protect it and soften it, cushion it. And I ran the hose here, see if I can do that one-handed. And there's a shower. So, I'm going to have a shower. Well, the only problem I have with an outdoor shower is that you are a mosquito bait. They had a feast while I was taking my shower. And that, boys and girls, is why I wear long pant legs all the time. My legs are ripped to shreds. But I'm clean. I feel really good and clean. It was a lukewarm shower. It wasn't too bad. And as long as it's uh, not totally raining and a bit overcast, it does heat up. The sun never did show itself today, but it warmed up. So, it's pretty cool. I would definitely recommend it. Well, I had to cheat so much for off-grid living. Um, that's my laundry bag. I was at the laundromat today because my last time I did my clothes, which was many weeks ago, somebody thought my feet were stinky. And it was my fresh washed jeans because the uh, humidity here is so bad. My clothes are not drying outside. And I had this much. This is a massive, massive bag. All my clothes were dirty. I had nothing left. And if I wait until the humidity goes away so I can dry my clothes, I'll never have any. So there are some advantages to modern society. Um, we're going to have to use that today. Although I have to say, this cost me. $12 today to wash my clothes. So seriously, washing your clothes yourself at home for free can save a lot. Well, somebody just this morning on a comment said that they uh, put their bedding outside to get fresh air all the time. And I remember when I lived in Germany, every morning, even in winter, you'd see people's windows open and their bedding stuffed in the window to get fresh air. So, that's what I've done today. Um, it's not actually raining. It's, if you look here, the sun is actually almost completely out. It's overcast. The sun is trying to poke through a little. I figured I'd take advantage of it finally and get some air on my bedding. And yes, I still have all these blankets out because, well, there's three blankets, four. Um, up until two weeks ago, I still used fire to heat this place. Just to show you, uh, forgive me if the wind blows on the microphone. I still have to put something over this. It's gusty out, and my windmill is not moving. And that is the way of things with unsteady winds. I think, actually, the bearing on this might be really cheap. It's been raining on it so much, it's just not spinning right now can't see what I'm looking at. Sorry, I think I was pointing at the sky. It's now so bright out, there was a break in the clouds. But my windmill isn't actually turning in the wind right now. It's not froze up. But the wind we get here is gusting and uh, comes in spurts. So having a windmill out here is not going to be the best. Um, it's going to be sporadic and unreliable, but every little bit helps. I hope you can hear me because my inverter is blowing. Its fan is running full blast. My solar charge controller from Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. This is a MPPT charge controller for those who don't know from previous videos. It's only just now 12 noon and my batteries are on absorption mode already and this means that they're topping off nicely. Although it's been cloudy and raining for days, this MPPT charge controller makes all the difference. 
uh, I'm telling you that is the way to go if you're going to go solar because I only have 600 watts of solar panels and this charge controller makes that much difference that my batteries are charging within a couple hours if it's even just overcast or partly sunny I get enough output there it just got really dark cloudy and I'm still in pull, pulling 120 watts um, so this is a good setup here somebody asked me if I was using my inverter and yes this never gets turned off now and I am always charging camera flashlight batteries I now have my bug zapper outside 24 7 the inverter runs non-stop and most of the times evenings four or five hours every evening I'm on my computer answering comments uploading videos and answering emails and this thing is really getting a workout but I love it I love it a lot I have a package here I have no idea who it's from because it's directly from Amazon it's been pretty quiet out here recently with packages seems like when they do come the post office holds them and brings them all at once so let's see what we have here oh this is very good this is neat I've never seen one of these this is a Coleman Citronella lantern really neat so I can finally sit outside and enjoy the uh, outdoors sometimes smells nice let me see well, it just says a gift note from Douglas Floyd so I don't know your YouTube name but thank you very much thank you very much and it's barbecue season this will be perfect it's pretty cool you'll notice something here or rather the lack of there's no birds at best I hear maybe one maybe two birds at any given time out here so I was at Tractor Supply today and also based on advice from people I've got a couple bird feeders these were only like six dollars a piece and this is a uh, couple mixed bird feeders I got two different kinds see what works best and got lucky today the bird food was on sale for $1.99 that's a good deal. That's a really good deal. I've got uh, two different types. I got year round and I've got the wild bird food. I'm going to put this out. Actually, I'm going to try both and see what attracts the birds best today. But I've got the two different types of bird food and two different bird feeders. And hopefully, I'm going to attract some birds around here. One, it'll give the cat something to watch and enjoy. And the other, I can enjoy it and the most important is hopefully they'll eat some of the bugs out here because the bugs are horrendous got the bird feeder hanging here from a branch just outside my window so that both my cat and I can enjoy watching the birds if they show up and hopefully the birds will like it here and uh, hang out more I've also got one over here by my old ex chicken coop, which I'm tearing apart. Just got some bird food today for the chickens. They weren't eating the. I bought scratch feed, scratch grain. They didn't like it. They like their layer crumbles. They uh, they prefer the crumbles, and they did not like the scratch grains at all. Now they're clucking happily. They got what they wanted. And I've got the other bird feeder hanging here from a branch. Now I'm going to have to take away these pallets that I had leaning here. This is what I was using to rip apart for my gardening. Because the uh, the squirrels will get to this. Actually, I'm going to have to mount that somewhere else anyway. Because the squirrels will get to feed here. And I don't want that. 
Well, finally a day with no rain. It's uh, partly cloudy, partly sunny, depending on your attitude. If you're optimist or pessimist, pessimist, I guess. But uh, I just got back inside from cooling down. All I did is simply use the push mower to mow this grass. And would you believe, just doing that gave me heat exhaustion. I was, uh, that was bad. I was gasping and and uh, my head was just pounding. It was weird. I went in and drank an ice cold drink and laid in front of the fan. I soaked myself down and laid in front of the fan for a while. Uh, feeling better now, but I have to relax a bit. But that isn't much lawn mowing. I think maybe 30, 40 minutes I was mowing the lawn. Max, maybe 40 minutes. It was thick in places, but still. That gave me heat exhaustion. It's 85 degrees, and uh, I don't know, there's something different this year. The sun is more intense. It's just a really intense sun. I mean, like, you used to be able to go and lay at the beach in the sun, and now the sun is just burning. You can't stand in it, and everybody agrees. But anyway, finally got that cut. I'm gonna go in with a trimmer later. Uh, probably after the sun goes down, I'm going to go in here with a trimmer and uh, trim some of this grasses, this grass and weeds along the edges here. I'll show you what I found out in the forest, my uh, forest shopping mall. You guys will be happy. You guys will be really happy, considering how I was digging earlier. I found this water can. It's a, uh, um, regular water can. I'm hoping it was never abused and used for anything else. And I found this massive, massive wood saw, a shovel, some picks. There's a uh, long-handled pruning saw. But here, I know the pick axe is uh, what I can use for hole digging. This is a nice little device. This is a, um, a hand controlled um, grass cutter, trimmer. I'm going to oil it up and hopefully I can use this old thing to cut those weeds along the edges. It's an oldie. I think with some oil I can get it going again. I guess we'll see. I've got a fan blowing on me. I'm in my shorts. Nothing on but my shorts and some flip-flops because it's so hot and humid. I'm sweating with nothing on. It's so hot. I am. Uh, I got my latex paint, the stuff I got for free, and I'm doing the walls in here. So far I've done this wall and this wall. It's been a, a long, slow process, but I'm getting it. I really want to move into here soon. Now I'm using a paintbrush because I don't have an extra roller that's disposable, but it looks like where it's drying, the streaks aren't too bad. I think I can I can live with it. The, uh, sadly, the streaks or the blotches and run marks from that primer are going to show up, but there's nothing I can do about that now. Maybe with a couple coats of the latex, it'll cover that up with time. But the latex is drying nicely. I can see here it's not going to be bad. I'll have to do another coat. And that's why I just brought the fan out because it's just not drying and it's just making it more humid in here. Um, normally I can't stand painting and I'm not, but only chemicals, but this stuff, there's no smell and it's not bothering me. That's some good paint. So, anyway, oh, 15 year warranty. That's a good thing. So it's coming along. So, I'll show you when I'm done painting. Alright, there's my painted, uh, primered wall, just for you to see for comparison. And there is a single coat on the bathroom wall with the latex white. I still have a lot to do. That's just one coat and that was uh, quite a few hours of work. The latex goes on differently and I hand brushed it so it took longer. But I just don't have an extra roller to dispose of because I don't have anything to clean latex with. And honestly I'm not going out to buy anything because I only have 
this room and the living room to do. But it seriously looks good in here. With the second coat, it's going to be incredible. I hope it'll do it in two coats. I can still see some some darkness in there. I hope the second coat will do it. Because it's really tedious to do another. <laughs> but that is a huge improvement. Seriously looking different in here. That sink was meant to be in a white area. Look at how it stands out. It just looks really nice. I love this countertop and this stainless steel sink now in this room. So I'm going to go in and process this video so that you guys have something to watch tonight. Those of you who will be home tonight, I'm going to process this video and continue painting. I'll have to get some uh, higher powered LED lights in here because I'm going to try to get this wall done tonight too as well, but that'll be a video for tomorrow. I wish you all a happy 4th of July. Be safe this weekend and have a good time and I'll see you tomorrow.